Uh, this has been a very busy but very successful week from an Irish point of view here in the European Parliament. Firstly, yesterday at the group meeting, in reply to a question I put to him as Fine Gael leader, Manfred Weber outlined very strongly that they were standing 100% behind Ireland in the first phase of the negotiations. And even if they do get agreement, which they will now, I think, on the exit bill, on citizens' rights, that the border situation in Ireland is a red line. They have to get guarantees in that as well. That is something that the Taoiseach Leo Varadkar has been looking for, and I'm pleased that that's the position adopted here by the EPP and hopefully by all of Parliament. Secondly, I was very pleased that after months and months of hard work, we got a very strong mandate in the ITRA Committee for Renewable Energy. We have a target of 35%, which is perhaps high, but well within our remit in Ireland, and it gives us a great opportunity to do an awful lot, which we haven't done up until now. We can do an awful lot in relation to transport, energy efficiency, and other areas. I think we need to grasp that now and show leadership, and I think we will. And finally, I'm, I was pleased to attend yesterday evening when Commissioner Hogan outlined his communication and CAP. There were some very interesting points in it, especially giving more flexibility to the member states, not to make it more difficult for farmers, but to make it easier and simpler for farmers under the future CAP. He also said that we needed a well-funded CAP. We need to have generation renewal because the number of young people coming into farming is not enough, and that has to be encouraged. And also, of course, the environmental pillar will be important because it ties into everything uh, that we are doing actually in Ireland, and we need to project that a bit more. But I think that now we have a good communication. We'll work to make it a reality in due course. Good morning, Mahogiv